Hey guys, welcome back to Balcony TV Sydney. My name is Matt Field and we are on the rooftop of the Brass Monkey in Cronulla, one of the best music venues in the city. And we are here with Monique. Monique Claire, how are you? Very well, thank you. Monique has kindly lugged her cello up four flights of stairs to be with us here today on Balcony TV on the rooftop. Thank you, appreciate that. No worries, I'm used to it. Yeah, I bet you are. What song are you singing for us today? I'm singing Makeshift Down. Makeshift Down? Makeshift Town. A makeshift Town. Right. This is Monique Claire with Makeshift Town. Thank you. My eyes are closed, but I see more realistic colors and shapes I know. Right, telling me to be scared, don't listen to them, don't listen to them. You got a lot on your plate, breathe out, breathe in. And there's a tiny tap on my shoulder, hold up, it's getting late, and night is cold. The ache in my back makes me feel old, but the child in my mind makes it all right. Monique Claire, that was really awesome. Thanks for coming Thank up you. onto the balcony and yeah, singing for us. You know, you're actually the first singer, songwriter, cello player we've ever had on Balcony TV Sydney. So, yeah, Do appreciate that. Do I go that. into the Guinness World Book of Records? Uh, well, um, no, you okay, go into the Guinness fine. Sydney Book of Records. <laughs> Uh, that's all right. That's, 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 that's an achievement. Um, can we start by maybe you telling all of us what that song is about? Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh. Uh, <laughs> maybe, uh, yeah. Go on. Um, it's, a, it's a touchy topic. Oh, really? It's about emotional stuff. And, okay. And, um, okay, here no, you go. No, we uh, shouldn't talk about it. <laughs> what about? See, I read that um, people describe your songs as like an exploration between your, your lyrics in particular, an exploration between dark versus light. Oh, yeah, can that's, you, uh, that's probably what that's Can you maybe about. Talk, talk to us about that song in reference to how it is dark totally. versus light? Okay, so it was a bit of a scandalous situation. Got it. And I think a lot of people were looking at it and talking about it in a way of like good versus evil kind of thing. Um, and I was looking at it as like a, hey, everyone's got flaws. Um, this human is, is evil and good and that's all of us and that's basically what it's about it's it's all grayscale it's not black and white 
Oh, right. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, it, it, it doesn't to me personally, but I'm sure that it makes sense to us listening. I, from, what I can, from what I can gather from what you're telling me is basically your song is a message to all of us that there is no good versus bad. There's only various shades in between. It's all shades. Totally. You nailed it. Right. And depending on the person, it, it depends on where the, on the spectrum they sit. Yeah. If they're, they're not necessarily bad. They just might be a really dark, dark grey. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I get it. Hey, look, I'm really excited about everything that's going on in your in your journey at the moment. Like, it's it's awesome, man. You've just released uh, your debut EP, which is called By the Stars. By the Stars. Um, and you've just toured that. Is that right? Yeah, so tell us a little my, bit about your tour. Yep. My first tour it was um, East Coast Australia. Um, so like you know Canberra, Sydney, Melbourne, um, Newcastle, Bellingen, all that. And I did it by myself in a van until my van broke down and got stuck in Aubrey. Oh no! Where's your van now? In Aubrey. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> okay, for those who don't know Australia as well, uh, Aubrey is just a long way away from Very here. Long just way uh, away. like a really long, like eight hours yeah. drive if you had a car, but you've got to walk, so it's even longer. I've got to walk. Um, that's that's no good. Well, look, we'll put a call out maybe a bit later to raise some funds to um, get you back to Aubrey to pick up your broken down totally. van. Um, do you see? I, I've been in vans before that have toured, and actually bands that have had vans that have broken down that seems mm -hmm. to be quite common it happens when in in my situation when the van broke down at least i'd have three or four people which i could you know bounce off uh, you know because you're frustrated you're like this life sucks right now what are we even doing music for what's going on when you're traveling just with your cello do you find yourself in really emotional moments speaking with your cello do you mean do i talk to my cello yeah. oh wow you've never thought about it like that hello yeah. Hey Barry. Dude, that's not a strange. Um, I talk to my drums. Right. I'm like, great. Why, why are you guys speeding up? Um, I don't know about that, but I definitely have found myself like sitting in a cafe in the middle of nowhere eating cake, um, crying before. Right. From just emotional strain. Because from you're, and because you're on your being own. On the road, on I my guess. own. Yep. Yeah, right. Sometimes you just got to do that. So, are there moments when you're touring by yourself, in all seriousness? where you actually feel like, this is amazing, I'm so stoked to be alive right now. Totally. And I'm guessing those moments outweigh the moments where you break down in Aubrey yeah. by yourself. Yeah, you're right. I actually love driving by myself and like singing along super loudly to, um, I just listen to the Punch Brothers. That's all I listen okay. to when I'm driving and I just sing along to all the songs and Fantastic. have the best time. That's cool, man. Uh, well, if you, if you need a tour manager because you're getting lonely, I'll come with you. I like Sweet. the Punch Brothers. <laughs> hey, um, can I ask you a little bit about the festivals that you've got coming up? Because over the 2017 to 2018 summer, you are playing some cool places in Australia. Do you want to tell us a little bit mm -hmm. about that? Really excited to play um, Woodford Folk Festival by myself for the first time as a solo artist. And um, after that, there's Signet in Tassie and Newstead near Melbourne. Um, what else? Port Ferry, Blue Mountains, and there's one other. I'm forgetting. Oh, the National Folk Festival. Did you did you manage to book all these festivals on your own as well? Well, actually, I've had the support of Folk Alliance Australia um, to help, I guess, get a foot in the door for those festivals. So That's an cool. application paired with an email from them saying, hey, you should look at her. Yeah, she's really good. She's yeah. amazing. Hey, I, well, no, you you deserve it. You, the, it's amazing and it's so unique and it's so lovely to listen to, man. So thanks for coming up on oh, the balcony. Thanks, thanks for lugging your cello up four flights of stairs. Uh, if we want to find out a little bit more about Monique Claire, what's, do you have a website? Do you have social media Follow links? me on Facebook and actually probably Instagram's the best place. So That's do we just Google Monique Claire Facebook? Is that right? Or maybe go to Facebook and type in Monique Claire. <laughs> hey, hey, you're from Brisbane. You do these things differently right, from us yeah. folk from Sydney. Um, the internet isn't worldwide or anything, but it's Claire without an I, just C -L FYI. C-L-A-R-E. Correct. Okay, no Weird. worries. Go to Facebook, search for Monique Claire Music. Or just Monique or just Claire. Claire. Um, and stay up to date with Monique and her journey, especially going through summer and all the festivals she's playing at. And see if you can catch her as she comes through your town. That'd be pretty cool. Cool. All right, no worries. Thanks for watching Balcony TV Sydney. Once again, we're on the rooftop of the Brass Monkey down in Cronulla and we're here for Australian Music Week. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.